Everything you need to know about Google Ads brand settings in three minutes or less. I'm Jill Saskin-Gales, a Google Ads coach, and we're going to talk about exactly what those brand inclusion and brand exclusion settings mean for your campaigns. The brand inclusion setting means you only want to advertise on user searches that have to do with the brands you're including. That could be your brand or a competitor brand. This setting is specifically designed for search campaigns with the broad match setting turned on. Practically, what that means is brand inclusion is a way to use broad match keywords for a branded search campaign. Now, brand exclusion is probably something you're going to want to use a little more. This is a setting you can add to search or performance max campaigns to exclude your brand or another company's brand without having to use negative keywords. This is especially helpful for performance max campaigns because you can only add up to 100 negative keywords in performance max. So let's say you don't want to advertise on your brand or don't want to advertise on a competitor's brand, you can exclude those brand lists. Brand inclusion only works for search campaigns, but brand exclusion works for search and performance max. Within Performance Max settings, you can decide if you want the brand exclusion to apply to shopping or not, but it will apply to search inventory. Now, how do brand inclusion and exclusion work? First things first, you need a brand list. Google has many of these brand lists pre-populated, but if your brand doesn't have a brand list yet, you can create one during the campaign setup process or from your shared library. What constitutes a brand exactly? Well, Nike, for example, would be a brand, but so would Air Max, so would Air Jordan. Those would be sub-brands of Nike, and you might need to create separate brand lists if you want to either include or exclude all of those. All in all, brand exclusion is a helpful feature to try to keep your brand or other people's brands out of your search inventory, but it's not foolproof. You may still need to go in and add some negative keywords, so be sure you're checking your search terms or your search categories regularly. With brand inclusion, this is something that could be helpful to test if you're looking for additional inventory that you might have missed with your traditional brand keywords. But definitely don't use broad match plus brand inclusion unless you're pairing it with smart bidding. Got a question about brand settings? Let us know in the comments.